The Baltimore Symphony Orchestra is 107 years old, making music in a city that's more than 60% black. And yet Jonathan Hayward is the orchestra's first black music director. In one way, I am thrilled, privileged, honored, excited. In another way, it also clarifies that we have work to be done. He's making history in another way. At age 31, he's the youngest music director at any of America's top-tier orchestras. The fact that you are so young, um, what do you hope that does? Maybe in an industry where you find a lot of folks who are a lot older than you, both, you know, who are doing what you're doing, but also who are sitting out here in the audience. Yeah, I mean, I think... My whole belief system is that this art form is for everyone. I will always say that coming to one of our concerts, any of our, any classical music concert can be more exciting than a Netflix series, you know? I believe it, you know? The, the visceral feeling that you get from a sound of an orchestra. Narrating through music, you know? There's, there's something that you can't get that anywhere else. What's the key, you think, to reaching that younger audience, to getting them to feel that and to understand that? Relatability. They have to somehow relate to these musicians, to these artists. You talk about relatability. Uh, you have a nickname, right? <laughs> yes, Converse Conductor. You see, you're more likely to notice the shoes on Hayward's feet than the baton in his hand. It's a tradition that started a few years ago by accident. I forgot my, my shoes, and I have this bad habit of not getting dressed until five minutes before going on stage. Really terrible habit. It drives everyone crazy. Um, but, of course, then I forgot my shoes, and I only had red, red chucks. The next day, I had never gotten so much post about my converse. So the chucks stuck. It's thinking about how we can break these barriers. And if it means putting on a relatable pair of shoes, why not? Plus, for you, are they comfier? Oh, God, so much better. <laughs> Hayward got comfy with classical music in the fifth grade when he first picked up the cello, an instrument he picked out of convenience. It happened to be uh, the day that we picked up our instrument. And um, I was supposed to pick violin, and all my friends were going to pick violin. And, um, we got to the, the end of the day and we got to the line and uh, the violin line was out the door, completely out the other door. And no one was in the cello line. So I wanted to go home really early because I was done with school, I was ready to go home. And uh, just decided to pick up a cello instead. As an adult, Hayward treasures the chance to mentor young musicians through the Baltimore Symphony Youth Orchestra and the Orc Kids program. He recalls a time recently when a young cellist had a big solo. I looked at him and he looked at me and I was, you know, trying to feed him inspiration so he wouldn't get nervous every single night. And at the end of every single night, he would smile. And for me, it's about how I can in any way musically inspire the next generation. In that moment, no words spoken, you're conducting him, but you're also reading how it feels for him, you could tell, right? Absolutely, absolutely. And people could picked up on it, you know, no words said, just, you know, this encouragement and it's beautiful. When a young musician looks at you and sees a young black conductor, what is the lesson you hope that teaches them what's the most important thing you want them to know? Anything is possible. The sky's the limit. I think it's important to feel like there are no boundaries, you know. You can do this. And um, to be a part of that journey is, is a big responsibility that I don't take lightly. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.